Hi, first graders. Today we're talking all about symmetry. And we are gonna start off by completing a worksheet. You're gonna make sure that you put your name somewhere on your worksheet and your art code, whatever that might be. Now you are completing the picture. Remember this line is called the line of symmetry and we are going to be completing what would be on the other side. This is also another example of bilateral symmetry. So I'm gonna just go over the dotted line nice and neatly and I'm gonna complete all of those. When I'm done with that, the second part's a little harder. I'm going to complete the whole shape the best that I could. So what would be on the other side? Now, when you're all done with this, you're going to bring it up to the front and then you'll receive your paper and you can take a white crayon to begin the next part of the artwork. Once you get your black paper, you're gonna write your name really big. You're gonna write your art code and then you're gonna write the vocabulary word for today, which is symmetry. I will have that all up on the board. Then you're gonna put your white crayon away because we're not gonna be using this for the rest of class. You will have a square. You are going to be folding your square from corner to corner. Because it's the same size, it's a square, so it has the, it's, the sides are all the same length. It doesn't really matter which way you fold it. So I'm gonna go corner to corner, and then I'm going to press. And I'm gonna open it up, and I wanna make sure that my line of symmetry is like this. I don't want it to be like this, where I have a part on top and a part on bottom. I wanna have one part on one side, one part on the other Once side. Once that's done, you are gonna have a whole bunch of shapes at your table. And we are gonna be creating a symmetrical design with our shapes. We're gonna have primary color shapes like blue, yellow, and red. And then we're gonna have some white to show some nice contrast on the black paper. Now you will have some larger shapes and some smaller shapes. We're even gonna get some smaller shapes that you see, than you see here next class when we're continuing our collage. Now when you're putting your shapes on, you could put it in the middle of your paper. That would create a symmetrical design. You can put one on one side, one on the other side, just like that. Could I do this? Would this be a symmetrical design? No, that would be an asymmetrical design when it is not the same on both sides. So I'm gonna keep it like this. If I only have one shape, but I really like it, can I use it? Well, you actually can. So if you put this shape in the middle of the paper, so it's even between both sides, then you will still have a symmetrical design. But I can't put it on one side and then get a different shape and put it, oh, that's the same shape actually, and get a different shape and put it here because that's not a symmetrical design. Now it has to be the same color and the same shape to create a symmetrical design. So in the beginning, you're just gonna start laying out some big shapes. So since this white paper is big, I'm gonna be placing that maybe underneath. I can also kind of move it around, like I could put it on an angle and I could put this one on an angle. I just don't wanna have anything sticking off. So if that's gonna stick off my paper, then maybe I'll save that idea for a smaller shape. So right now I'm just gonna have fun arranging some of the different shapes, but I'm gonna be doing that with my big shapes. And then once I have a few down, then I can start gluing and overlapping. Now, some shapes that are like a square, you don't have to only glue it down like a square. You can turn it. Maybe you want your shape to be a diamond. That might be a little bit more interesting or maybe you want to have that shape be in the middle and just use one of them. Once I have an idea of what I want to do for today, this is probably all that I'm going to add today. I did choose a few little pieces, 
but I'm saving my space to add some smaller shapes next class. So once you have it laid out, make sure you have enough time to glue it on. Um, but now when I'm gluing, I need to start from the back to the front. So maybe I'll do this side first. And when we're using our glue, just like we've done in the past, make sure that you go wipe, wipe, wipe. And then you bring your shape over to the glue. Now these shapes are big, so you're gonna make sure that all of the corners and the sides have glue on them. We're not painting the glue on, we're just dotting. today. Now next class, we're going to get some smaller shapes that we will be able to add on top and make some other really cool designs by building up our collage with different layers. Make sure that you don't cover up all of the black. You do want to have some showing that will add some contrast to your collage. Make sure that you put your shapes that you didn't use back on the tray, clean our hands, clean our table, and have fun.